Hello everyone. Good morning, sir. God has blessed us once again to have this time to share the word. So let us pray before we continue. Father God, we thank you. Every time you want us to listen to your word. Because our thoughts are different from your thoughts, that's why we need to listen to your word in order to compare the two. Now we are going to listen to your word. I pray that you may open up our hearts to receive your word as it is. Lord, allow us to put down our thoughts so that we can have true faith. May you guide our time from the beginning up to the end. In the name of Jesus I pray. Amen. Uh, let us read Genesis chapter 27 from verse 37. Genesis 27, verse 37 through verse 14. If you are there, you can read. Then Isaac answered and said to Esau, Indeed, I have made him your master, and all his brethren I have given to him as servants, with grain and wine. I have sustained him. What shall I do now for you, my son? Isaka asuza isawati, dore na muhaye kugutwara na bene se bose. Eh na muhaye kuba abagaraguwe. Kandi namugabiri namugabiye vino n'inya kayimeke na kuri kimwana wanje. And Esau said to his father, Have you only one uh, blessing, my father? Bless me, me also, O oh my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. Esau abazase ati na mugisha numwe usigiranye data. Je nange mesho mugisha data? Esau araturikaranira. Then Isaac his father answered and said to him, Behold, your dwelling shall be of the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above. Isaka isera musubizati ubuturo bwawe buzaba kure y'umwero udaka. By your sword you shall live, and you shall serve your brother, and it shall come to pass when you become uh, restless that you shall break his yoke from your neck. Yes. Like livers, there is a way the heart flows. Uh, when a heart is flowing, we can realize this person is heading to the blessing or he is heading to the curse. When we read Genesis chapter 27, we can see two ways. One is the way of blessing, another one is the way of the curse. Who was blessed and who was cursed? Uh, from the beginning, you can see the flow of the heart of Jacob. Jacob was a person who could think that he can't uh, do anything by himself. He knew that he was not worth of the blessing. That's why he could not dare even to go before his father to receive blessing. And the time he was willing just to sit uh, still and let his brother receive the blessing. But by the help of his mom, he was able to receive blessings. On the contrary, we can see Esau, who was confident. He knew that he is a good hunter. That's why when he had the word of his father, 
He rushed to fulfill it. Everyone, these stories for you and for me. As we stand before God, we can stand as people to be cast or to receive blessings. Actually, the word of God is not there for us to to fulfill it. But the word of God can uh, be fulfilled because it is with the power to fulfill it. When you read uh, the book of Isaiah, mm -hmm. Isaiah chapter 55, mm -hmm. you can read Isaiah chapter 55, so eight. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain comes down and the snow from heaven and do not return there but water the earth and make it bring forth and bud that it may give seed to the soil and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth, it shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what I please, and it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. Yes, when we read these verses, we can see that uh, God's ways and our ways are different. Yes, God gave us the law. And the laws uh, tell us to do uh, this thing or not to do it. But why did God give us the law? So people who have the same heart as souls, they just receive the law as if they are the ones to fulfill them. That's why they try to fulfill the law and to uh, keep the law. But 10 per 10 or 100% they get cursed. Why is it like this? Because they have different thoughts from God. The thoughts of God are found in the Bible. Once we read the Bible, we can see clearly why God gave us the law. In Romans chapter 3 verse 19, the Bible says that God gave us the law so that our mouth may be shut. And all of us become guilty before God. But so many people, they don't like to be failures. That's why they always try to stand before God as those who are able like Esau. Esau wanted to stand before his father as a person who is able to hunt. As a person who can fulfill the word of his father. But what was the result? Esau despised the promise of God. Esau didn't keep the word of God in his heart. Even he didn't want to ask his mom. Especially when we read the book of Hebrews, you can see how he despised the, uh, the birthright. 
ubutware bwo kwifura the book of hebrew chapter 12 igitabo cyo bari ejo cyane ibi hebrews chapter 12 verse 14 barayo ibi cyo nari mu washinda kane Uh, it is later near pursue peace with all people and holiness without which no one will see the Lord. And so go mu gihe umwe ateko kubana Looking uh, carefully lest anyone for short of the grace of God lest any root of bitterness springing up cause trouble and by this many become defiled ngiri ndatagira umuntu gwa kava mu bw'Imana kandi atagira umuzi wo gusharira umera ukabagara kimitima abenshi bagahumana lest there be any fulcata or a prophet person like Esau who for one morsel of food sold his birthright kandi atabaho umusambanyi cyangwa ukerensa iby'Imana na Esau Oguranye muraje we umwana wifura igaburu rimwe Yes we can say that uh, here the bible say that Esau was a prophet person Isokuna kono bibivuga ko Esau yari umuntu cyese because he could despise the uh, promise ko ya cyerenshe sezerano Men people even today they don't uh, they don't respect the word of god mm-hmm. they just want to show themselves mm-hmm. they are hearts flow in this way mm-hmm. they say for me i built the church mm-hmm. for me i helped my church to do this and that mm-hmm. i'm a choir member mm-hmm. i give offering and tithe at least I'm different from that uh, pagan so once people live with such a they can never receive the grace of God when you read Luke chapter 18 you can see the soul of a tax corrector and a Pharisee. This Pharisee could say that I also do the work of God, I fast two, twice a week, I give offering and tithe. But on the other side, this uh, tax corrector could not even look upon God and was telling God that, Lord, have mercy on me because I'm a sinner. Mm-hmm. So you can see that they have different hearts. Mm-hmm. One heart flows into boasting himself but another heart flows in the way to receive or to ask for grace so in order to receive the blessings from God you need the heart which is humble and that heart was depicted by the story of Jacob in Genesis chapter 27 so in the world before God we can see these two people uh, when you read uh, this chapter we read today uh, we can see how Jacob received the blessings and on the other hand you can see how Esau was cast in verse 15 the bible said then rebecca took the choice clothes of her elder son Esau which were with her in the house and put them on Jacob her younger son rebecca yenda inyambaro nyiza Esau ifura ye and she put the skins of the kids of the gods on his hands and on the smooth part of his neck 
Then she gave the several food and the bread which she had prepared into the hand of her, her son Jacob. Everyone who crowned Jacob in order to stand before his father. We can see that Rebecca did it. Rebecca knew the proper cloth to cover the blemishes of, of Jacob so that he can receive blessings. Not only that, but when you read verse 15, you can see that, uh, verse 16, you can see that even he was, she was able to cover all weaknesses of Jacob. Yes, she put the skins of the kids of the gods on his hands and on the smooth part of his neck. More than that, uh, she gave him uh, what uh, the father required so that he would give him the blessings. So as we read this story, we can see that it's our story. How can you receive the blessings? It's not that we need to work hard. It's not that we need to keep the law. But we need to receive the blessings through the grace of Jesus. Once we receive what Jesus has done for us, we can receive all blessings before God. But people don't believe so. They like just walk by themselves. But when you read the book of Romans chapter 8, you can see that people who want to receive blessings through their works, they you can't help but to be cursed. Because they are throwing in the law called the law of death and sin. So people who have condemnation is not because they commit sins. It's not because they have branches or weaknesses. But it's because they live under the law called the law of sin and death. So two days ago I met uh, two people and we shared this one. They asked me uh, about the forgiveness of sins. Especially this issue of confessing our sins every day. I told them confessing is not a problem. But which sins do you confess? Many people when they see their weaknesses and blemishes, they just try to confess what they saw on themselves. They never confess their sinful nature. But they always want to confess their deeds. But I told them, I told them that that is not confession. Because the reason why you feel condemned by your actions is because you were under the law of sin and death. All people who are under this law, they can't help but to uh, receive condemnation. So it's not because they do evils, but it's, it depends on the law they stand in. Romans chapter 8 verse 1 through verse 4, the Bible says there is, uh, there is therefore now no condemn, condemnation to those who are 
in Christ Jesus, who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh, God did by sending his own, own son in the likeness of sinful flesh, on account of sin he condemned sin in the flesh. Yes, but for says that the righteous requirement of the law might be fulfilled in us who do not walk according to the flesh but according to the spirit. Yes, by reading these verses you can see that there are two kinds of laws. In other, in other words, there are two kinds of ways. There's a way through the law of sin and death, whereby people try to work by themselves. And all these people, the Bible says that they are cursed because they try to keep the law. Yet they are weak, they are too weak to keep the law. But to those who realize that they cannot keep the law, the Bible says that they receive the righteous requirement of the law uh, because verse 2 says for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death so when Jesus was sent in the world, he was not sent to judge people. But he was sent to save the human being. That's why when you read Roman, uh, John chapter 8, you can see how Jesus saved the woman caught in her daughter. This woman was so that it to be condemned to death. But when she stood before Jesus, she received the new law. Neither do I condemn you. How did Jesus do this? The Bible says in verse 3, here in Romans chapter 8, For what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh, God did by sending his own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh on account of sin who condemned sin the flesh. <coughs> Yes, Jesus does not condemn anyone, but he came to save people. Instead of condemning us, he condemned sin in the flesh. He covered our weaknesses. This is what Rebecca did for uh, Jacob. After Jacob saw all what uh, the mother did, Jacob was happy and received steadfast faith. 
This is how he stood before his father and received the blessing. Likewise, you can receive the blessings by acquiring faith. Once you get faith that Jesus condemned our sins, and gave us his righteousness, mm -hmm. we can only go before God with boldness and receive the blessings. But to those who go before God with their works, always they can't help but receive the counsel. Today we read Genesis chapter 27, verse 37. This is the story of Esau after he came back from hunting again. Yes, he worked hard. Even after hunting, he came back and cooked. After cooking and preparing the several food for his father, he stood before his father. But he found that his father was already full. His father was not in need of his food anymore. He didn't uh, uh, want his works anymore. That's why verse 37 says, mm -hmm. Then Isaac answered and said to Esau, Indeed I have made him your master, and all his brethren I have given to him as servants, with grain and uh, wine I have sustained him. What shall I do now for you, my son? Isaka asubiza Esau ati Dere na muhaye kumutkwara Na bene sebose na muhaye kuwa abagaragule Kandi na muga ulevino ni miyaka imeche Na kukoririchi mwana wanje Yes, God wants to bless people Ma nisha wala mwisha But though God wants to bless all people He can only bless those who can receive the grace, not those who works. Because uh, God uh, decided to give us the free gift that is salvation, and, and He put everything in Jesus Christ so that He can receive them by grace. But there are people who don't want to receive the grace. What can God do for them? When you read Matthew chapter 7, you can see those people who establish their works. It's not, it's not that they don't know who Jesus is. The Bible says that they cast demons in the name of Jesus. They do a lot of miracles in the name of Jesus. But since they want to stand before God with their works, they can't help but to receive the cards. Verse 39 says, Then Isaac his father answered and said to him, Behold, your dwelling shall be of the fatness uh, of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above. By a sword you shall live, and you shall serve your brother, and it shall come to pass when you become restless, that you shall break his job from your name. Everyone, the Bible says that those who are under the law are under the curse. So you have to know this clearly. 
Once you don't uh, throw away your thoughts and keep your thoughts, you can't help but receive the curse. Then though God wants to bless you, but he can't help unless you throw away your ways. In Galatians chapter 3 verse 10, the Bible clearly says, uh, when you read this verse, you can see uh, the Bible says, For as many as are of the works of the law are under the curse, for it is written, Cursed is everyone who does not continue in all things which are written in the book of the law to do them. Verse 13 Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us, for it is written, Cast is everyone who hands on a tree. Yes, in the story of Genesis chapter 27, you can see four characters. Isaac, the father who stands for the father God. The maker, uh, his wife who stands for Jesus. And Jacob, who stands for people who can receive the grace of them. And those also who stands for all people who are under the curse. Because when you read clearly, you can see that Rebecca took all the curse of Jacob and Jacob received the blessings. This also happened to Jesus. In verse 13, here where we read, the Bible says Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us. If we believe in Jesus, there is no more curse in our life. Because Jesus took all the curses from us. Jesus took all of our sins and he gave us his righteousness. On the contrary, those who want to work, the Bible says, as many as are of the works of the law are under the curse. So I'd like to ask you to think about your spiritual life tonight. If you live with the heart of Esau, please love that heart and receive the grace of God. Therefore you realize that to those who do not work but believe to uh, one who just was ungodly, they are righteous before them. Not because they don't have blemish, but because their blemish, even their weaknesses, are covered by the blood of Jesus. I hope you believe in this God and receive the grace of God. We shall speak up to here, let me pray and we conclude. Father God, we thank you. <coughs> you have written this Bible because you knew that our thoughts are different from your thoughts. Many people, they just follow their thoughts and they mix their thoughts with the word of God thinking they are good believers. 
Batekereza ko bwo bizera neza. That God and grace will remove our thoughts and believe in your pure and genuine word. We can't help but receive the curse. Ariko mana tudakwiye ibitekerezo byacu ngo twakire ijambo rya ry'umwimerere ntabwo twabasha kwakira ibishano. Through these two sons of Isaac we can learn the way to receive the blessing. Please have mercy on us and allow all people to throw away the heart of Esau and live with the heart of Jacob. Tugusabye kugira ngo udufashe tujugunye itimeze nkiye sawa hanyuma tubashwa cyane utimeze mu Yakobo. Once our hearts flow in the way of Jacob we can only receive the blessing. Thank you Lord and we pray everything in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. See you next time.